Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. Today I'm coming at you with a 75% off Monday Goodwill haul. So excited for all of the goodies that I found. I wanted the location that is closest to my house to be open today because it limits me to one location. <laughs> it's further out, it's the only one. You can't just run you know, two minutes away and get to another Goodwill as you can when you're closer to the city. So this kind of limits me to my shopping in one place. So me and Damien went over there. I was able to snag a few goodies. A lot of them are for here at the house and then some of them are for the shop. So we're gonna dive right in. The color of the week this week in my previous haul, it was orange and it was on a Friday. So that was 25% off. That same color is 75% off on Monday and then they will cycle the new color on Tuesday. I think I'm gonna start with the regular price items. Regular priced, kind of smallest to largest. I did find one of the Amber Glass little votive candle holders. I have one right there. And if you look up there, that one needs one. It actually has three candle holders on there, but I'm just kind of building up as I go. And this is the perfect amber color to match that one. So that is gonna be going over there. This was yellow tag 89 cents. And I think I only paid a few cents for that one as well. I found these vintage salt and pepper shakers. They're supposed to look, I guess, like a vintage wood grain uh, ceramic kind of thing. They were $1.99 for the pair. I've seen these on eBay sell for about $12. That's typically what vintage salt and pepper shakers go for anyway. So these were red tag $1.99. I do think they are really adorable. They have that nice olive green. It kind of has like a reddish brown tone. Reminds me of asparagus-ish. Very cute. So I did pick those up for $2. I also picked up this little deck of cards. It's Stardust plastic coated with New View tint made in the USA. And it's just a little woodland creature scene with an owl, two little birdies, some turtles and frogs. Really cute. They look like that. These are perfect vintage ephemera. Also, I picked up this plate. I love the whole look of the plate. So it's a serving plate, but it doesn't have a brand or a maker on here. It was only 99 cents, but the colors and the little imagery sold me. I thought this was so cute. I actually have a small vintage uh, like clasp lid jar that kind of has a black and black and brown theme that kind of goes with this. It's really cute. I love it. It's the little rooster, the end sign, tobacco, locksmith. It's just really nice. Check that out. And for a dollar, come on. I also picked this up. Strawberries do very well in the shop, so I know or I knew I had to pick this up because it was only green tag, two bucks, one ninety nine. I got it because it's a really great size. There's no chips or cracks. It's just a simple brown lid. And then the strawberry image is very nice on there. It's not peeling or cracking off or anything like that. It's really clear and it's all there. And it does have a stamp here, but I can't you can't read it and even though it looks familiar i just can't place it like i really can't tell what it is but it's just a really nice neutral speckled pottery canister great condition and there goes the lid i also picked these up i need to research a little more into these these look like they are somewhat aged but i can't tell and they are kind of like this, I don't know, I feel like they're a, like a cabin feel. They're supposed to look like wood going around the cup or the mug. You can see the little faux grain that they have in there. They're tall. They come in a set of two. They have black handles. I mean, I thought they were cool. I'm pretty sure someone will like them. Either way, they were 99 cents regular price, so I did pick these up. I just need to find out if they're vintage or not. I can't tell. It's gonna take a little more research. I'm not sure if these are going to be mine 
or if I'm gonna put them in the shop. They are vintage Folgers marketing or promotional images and or prints. I don't know why or how it came about because I don't feel like they're anything coffee related, but there's four of them and they are by F. Cunningham and they look like this. They're simple food image or food related images. They were 99 cents a piece. And I actually saw these there a long time ago. The price never changed or fluctuated, I'm assuming because they just kind of stayed hidden in the photos or in the framed area. This is, I like this one with the mushrooms and the broccoli and the tomatoes. I like the glass jar there. So there's two horizontal and then there's two vertical. Look at that enamelware pot. So cool. Anyway, they were $4 for all four They because they were 99 cents a piece. And I can't decide if I just want to keep them or if I'm going to sell them because I mean they're not in the best condition. You can see that they were they were damaged from being whatever in from being in whatever they were in. And there's like fingerprints and stuff over here on the side. I think if I kept them, I would probably just cut along this side here and just put them in a frame myself. And so this actually resells for about 25 bucks. It's this Bless Our Home brass and wood plaque and it is so nice. Check that out. I'm actually thinking about doing a black wood and distress it and then put this back over it in order for it to match our house. I think that is so beautiful. It's a very nice hearty piece. It was only $2.99 regular price and I love it. So that is definitely a keeper. I also picked this up for us because I thought it was so cool. Now you always see these little Aladdin drink dispensers in like a bright red or bright yellow and you know, all these funky patterns and stuff, and they're cute, but they're just not something that I can have on display out. And this one, on the other hand, is. It is one quart, made in the US, Aladdin pump a drink. <laughs> it's in really nice condition. Like the wood grain is all there. The handle is nice and tight on there. This, you can still feel the resistance from the pressure. I like this. And for three bucks, I thought it was great. It was something that I could actually have sitting in one of my cabinets with my dishes and it won't, you know, look so out of place. I thought that was pretty cool. So for three bucks, $2.99, I picked that one up. Okay. So that was it for the regular price items. Now let's go ahead and jump into the 75% off orange tag items. Starting off small, I found two. There was so much today, guys so much but i didn't just grab everything and i found these two milk glass ashtrays i don't usually pick up milk glass even though i know it's popular and then there's like this whole toss up about the market so i did not pick these up for resale i actually picked these up for myself because i thought they would make beautiful uh, ring trays because i always take my rings off in the kitchen i take my airpods off in the kitchen and i always set them in random places because the tray that we had i wound up using it for the sponge and I never put another tray out. So my rings and my AirPods all need a place in the kitchen. So I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen and then hang on to this one and set it somewhere wherever I, I feel like I take my AirPods off regularly. It's just two little milk glass ashtrays with a very clean design on them. They are the same style for both and they were 99 cents. You see that? 99 cents for both of them. So I got both milk glass ashtrays for a quarter. That is awesome. I found this. This is the Old Candles Snuffer and Dinner Bell from Maine. So I'm assuming this was like a little souvenir trinket thing that was popular at some point. It's just a bell and a candle snuffer. Anyway, this one was $1.99 with the orange tag, so I paid $0.50, cents, and I love all things brass, especially when it comes to home decor pieces. I'm going to keep this probably. I don't know. I'm kind of weighing it out. 
If not, it'll be in the Etsy shop. I'm pretty sure it could sell for an easy 12 to 15 bucks. I just have to do a little more research on it to tell for sure. But either way, for 50 cents, I thought it was a great buy. Cute decor piece. I like putting up little miscellaneous pieces like this throughout the house, so I picked that up. Next, if you saw my previous Goodwill haul, I showed you guys a buttercrock that I got and I was kind of debating on whether or not I should keep it because it had blue around the rim and around the actual crock. And I don't really do much with blue even though it's been getting my attention big time. I don't do anything with blue. So I didn't keep it. And I went into the store today and I found a white buttercrock. I am so excited. So this one was $1.99. That means I got it for 50 cents. And it says butter here on all four sides. So cute. And it doesn't have a maker on it, but it was $2, so I got it for 50 cents and it is not broken or damaged or anything. So basically how it works is you smash your butter into there so that there's no gaps or anything so that it doesn't fall out because there's no air bubbles or pockets and you put water in here and when you put it in there it presses up against the butter and it makes it airtight so that is pretty cool and that's just so you can always have warm room temperature spreadable butter available at all times so there's that 50 cents and it's white so i can keep it for myself now these teapots have been jumping out at me all week long but i have not been able to find one under five dollars and i did not want to pay five dollars for it today i went and i found the vintage japan brown teapot i have seen these all over the place many many times and i just have not wanted to pay the price for them it is a red clay japan teapot you can see the red clay on the inside the only condition issues is that some of the little painted dots aren't on here but to be honest this is a personal piece so i don't care that doesn't bother me enough because the outline is still on it there's no chips the only condition issue that is kind of like chip related is this surface chip right here but it's not it's not a like a chip that caused a crack or anything like that it's actually very flush it's not sharp or anything so this is kind of something that i am perfectly fine with but it was five dollars like i was saying you can't i couldn't find them for less than five bucks and i always see the smaller ones for like three to five and i don't want to pay that anyway orange tag made it a dollar 25 which is a total me price and i finally got my little brown pot i don't know what it is about these little things they always grab my attention i always want them so this is what it looks like the little gold paint around the edges really pretty so i picked that up i do have a thing for teapots we like hot tea and i don't have any daughters to play tea party with so whenever i make hot tea i always pull out my teapot and my little cups and my dishes and that's when i get to play with it as you can see, there's like a little teapot right there. There's another one right there, and there's one behind it. There is another one. There's another one up there. <laughs> I love teapots. So this was a definite score for me for buck 25. Yes, please. In my last Goodwill haul as well, I found a amber glass anchor hawking kind of riveted dish. It was really pretty, like very pretty detail on the side. This one is just your basic anchor hawking dish. This is, I forgot what it said. This is the two quart amber glass baking dish. I love these. So I got that. This one was $3.99. That made it $1 on 75% off. This piece is ginormous and it's very heavy. It's, it was $8 regular price, but since it was orange tag, that made it $2. And I thought this would look beautiful, painted and distressed. Look at that, that is gorgeous. It is a huge, huge piece and it's got really nice weight to it. Now, I don't think this is vintage per se, not like 60s, 50s. This is probably more like 2000s, but this is gonna be a personal item, it's heavy and it was only two bucks. You can see it there, 
I got it for two dollars. I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Well, yeah, it looks a little too goldish. It looks better on camera than it does in person. It's a little gold-ish. Anywho, I'm gonna probably paint this and distress it and put it in our room when we finally do the uh, room decor. Our bedroom is the last thing that I've even considered, mainly because it drives me crazy that we don't really have a closet in our room, which is strange, but I want to build a an extra wall to create a walk-in closet. I know it sounds crazy. The hubby said I was crazy too, but then he started to put his input, which means I'm gonna get my closet. I found these. They are the Homeco 70s. Everybody knows these. Wall sconces. So cute. There is a certain group of people that loves these pieces. And I'm pretty sure you can get about 20 to $25 for them. Probably be about 35 if you include shipping. I'm not positive, but I'm gonna do some research on that. Anyway, they were $3 a piece, so that made it 75 cents a piece. Now they are very pretty. They're just a simple gold color. What I like about this gold color though, is that it's like a pretty gold color. Like I don't do gold, but this kind of like, is like borderline brass looking. I like this kind of gold. This is a good gold color check that out so I got both of them 75 cents a piece so a buck 50 for both okay now these I'm super excited about I actually found some vintage console or snack dishes with the little cups uh, that are in the shape of a pig I found those not too long ago in a set of two and this time I found these 1950s Daisy and dot pattern it is the snack plate and cup so beautiful now I don't typically buy things in odds but when it comes to something like this I can't just leave the other one if it's in such great condition so there were three sets of these for $1.99 which means I paid 50 cents for these gorgeous amber glass snack plates and little cups they are beautiful. And it has a little indention there. That's where you set your cup. But check out how beautiful that is. Look at that gorgeous amber glass color. So pretty. So pretty. So I did find three of those. They were all $1.99. So I got them for 50 cents a piece, which makes it a buck 50 for all three of these 1950s Indiana glass snack plates so beautiful okay so moving on to the last two things they are food not food they are recipe book related actually they are recipe books I got this one here now this one was a little kind of sad you could tell that someone had it in a box that it got some moisture but it is it is the ladies home journal cookbook and it was $1.99 so I got it for 50 cents and I really got it because I wanted to go through and just kind of look at all of the images and how they use all of the cool pieces that we are actually hunting for now. So pretty. I love to look at the images in books like this to kind of just get, I don't know, like a relatable feeling to the people that loved these things originally and now they're coming full circle and we get to save them and pass them on to others that love them. Check out that kitchen. Wow, all wood. Look at all these cool spreads. It's so pretty, like just above and beyond to set up for a dinner, I love it. And then there was this. There was, it, this is the New York Times menu cookbook. So it was $3 for the whole set. That means I paid 75 cents. And they are just really huge books. You can tell that they hadn't been out. They've always been in the box because all of this is all white and clean but again gorgeous displays just a really fun way to go through and check out all the cool stuff oh that's so cool look at that isn't that neat and now we get to go through and pick pick pieces of people's old collections of stuff that they used to use when they would serve their dinners and we get to love on them and kind of recondition them and show them some love and then pass them on again 
to their new old life. That is so cool. So in this one, all the images are either like hand drawn or black and white. So cool. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my 75% off haul. Damien actually picked up a few things. He found a vintage ski jacket, which is kind of crazy, and it came out to like 325 and some basketball shorts for I think a buck 25 or something. Aside from that, everything was under 30, it was about 35, so it was about $30. I can't remember if that was with or without the clothes. That being said, it was totally worth the trip today. I'm so happy with my finds, especially the amber glass and the recipe books along with my brass sign. I love that thing. And there's just so many cool little pieces and how funny is it that I was really wanting a butter crock after I found that other one and now I have one in my price point. I do hope that you guys are enjoying the thrift store hauls. I will not be back out to the store again until Thursday and that one is gonna be a Pennywise haul because that's the day I go for 50% off Purple Bag Thursday. I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home still because your thrift stores are not open yet, but here's holding on to hope that you get out there soon. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below, let me know what your favorite find was, or share with me one of the first things that you're gonna run in and do as soon as you can get yourself into a thrift store. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and also the notification bell to be notified of any new videos whenever I do post. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook group where I share real-time stuff with you guys, all everyday life related. Both of them, Instagram and Facebook, are at the Bates House and my Etsy shop is also the Bates House shop and I will leave that link down below for you guys as well. But for now guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!